contemplating breaking my free-to-play streak. I said this already, but when I did buy something in May, it was because I got a, a gift card from my uncle for my birthday. And he's right there, two and a half hours left, gone this far in, sunk cost fallacy. I've already invested this much. I can't leave without him. In the words of the great philosopher Terry Crews, I'm taking that one home to mama. I'm taking that home to mama. Yo, uh -oh. Santa must have come early this year, because you were first on my Christmas list. Woo, there it is right there. After some peer pressure from my chat, thinking about breaking my streak, you could do basically everything that you want to do as a free-to-play player. But honestly, even though I know that I can, I hate it here. I hate being free to play because I've had a taste of what it's like being pay to win. And the other argument is I'm not technically 100% free to play because I spent thousands of dollars to get my account to where it is. Would you even consider that? Can you, can you even consider that to be free to play? If somebody said, oh, I'm free to play after spending X amount of dollars, I'm free to play. Does that count? Looking back as I speak about it currently, I don't think that counts. Let me know if I'm wrong. Is he limited? Yes, he is limited. Once this event is over, you're not ever going to get him. Unless you summon him during this Monster Hunter crossover event between Polarium and Capcom, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to get him. Like I say, I'm free to play, but I also put an asterisk mark. Free to play right now, but I always tell people like I've spent thousands prior. I might need to spend money to finish this event he's a monster hunter champion i gotta talk to my wife to see if she's okay with it we have gear that's super good so i think give up alcohol for raid that's just crazy talk you never feel bad about a good whiskey but the feeling after pulling shards after buying and pulling shards is absolute complete trash we're only at 20k boys and girl what am i doing and i'm gonna talk to my wife to see what she says about me spending in raid to get Alatreon. I'll be right back. Far easier to give him just the lesser pots than giving. All right. That's true. Like, I'm nope. not going to have it out. I uh, asked my wife what she thought about me spending in raid again. I said, babe, I am thinking about having a budget and spending in raid again. And she was like, okay, okay, okay. Well, um, why? And, you know, we had a discussion about it. I could set a budget. She was like, how much are you trying to spend? I was like, I was just, you know, like, you know, 50 to to $100 per month. You know, not exorbitant. Basically, guys, she said, she said yes. She said yes. What, what is this? Bro, are you okay? And that's it. What happened with Hell Hades? Hold up. Well, he said no. Look at this picture. That is an excellent thumbnail. That is a that is a that is a perfect thumbnail right there. That thumbnail fits the feeling of this event. Gotta love Hell Hades. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. I've got to say, at this point, I feel like Raid have won. They've broken me. I'm literally oh my a God. broken man sitting. That's what I'm saying, man. I've blown a load of cash on prism shards and got nada not even one legendary with over 40 prism shards wow shocker he pulled 40 and did not get archer she, she's cool with it she said yes let's grab that bad boy i think let me see where's the soul stones i think this is it because at least i have somewhat of a chance of having something that stays permanent but if I buy the Monster Path packs, it's not going to be permanent. So, oop, that's not it. We're buying this. Oh, we got a coupon? My bank is asking me if I if I verify this. I'm like, I already verified it. What the heck? Even my bank is like, yo, is this you? The second one was $19.99. There you go. I fully embraced the dark side. And I have permission from my wife. I, I, have, I have permission from you, right, babe? She said yes. She's right there. She's in the kitchen getting chips. My bank is so out of whack right now. They're like, dude, are you spending money in raid? I'm keeping these receipts because these are these are tax write-offs now. Debit card fraud alert. We recently attempted to contact you to verify transaction failed. Suspicious activity detected. 
I'm just trying to buy a five dollar pack. Ursa for the next CVC so we can get some nice ease in a champion chase tournament. I chose these champions. But look at this kit. to a just, human just representative. Like any level of fire. Sorry, like hard fire nights you, barely a consideration you know right now. Call. Because so Diabolist, I'm probably going to give her... Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe I could give her... Thank um, you. I'm going to um, hold off on placing it. Even 450. <laughs> I, think I, I think what I needed to do was get it to 1200. <laughs> For some... <coughs> Sorry. Um... Yeah, the restriction on my card has been lifted. They thought it was a fraud alert. Or they thought it was a somebody trying to, you know, use my money. But I, I just called them and told them that it was, it was me. I'm trying to buy things. So she said it's been lifted. And there you go. Thank you for your order. Successfully been added to your account. Guys, let's do this. Let's pull things. Am I still going to be free to play? Probably not. I fucking hate being free to play. Alright, no longer free to play. I guess I can never even really say that I was free to play because I spent money to even get my account to where it is. Boom. Thousand points right there. Easy. And I got Marishka, four stars, and Androk. I don't have Mardishka. But now that I'm pay to win, I probably might end up with a Mardishka. None of those. Let's go ahead and take these. One for one. Nope, nothing good. Get rid of uh, blood feather and scrank. Get rid of these ones that I don't need. Cause we don't need any of these. We're not gonna build these guys out. Hefrag. Gladiator. Queen Elva. Grumbler. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff. And we have a 10 pop coming out of our immortals. Let's do it. 15,000. Ogron, two legendaries. We got Opardin. We got three. Georgian. Champions, I don't have four. Elder Skarg. I do have an Elder Skarg. Aphidius, four stars. We're not going to pull Aphidius, though. It's unlikely we get that. So, am I happy about any of these? You know, I'm not exactly, like, sad, but... Not exactly impressed with it all together. Um, let me get this ready. Uh, a weekend. I've never used Elder Scarb before. Has any of you guys, have any of you guys used Elder Scarb before? This, this fusion that I regret going for because I ended up summoning another one. We'll take that. Five star for O Pardon.
Any more to pull? Nope, no more to pull. Okay, where are we at in terms of the event? An hour left. 40,000. <sighs> Alright, so let's do this. 70k. 1, 2, 3. Minus 41. 4. Oops. 7, 9. I need 28. So if I buy, if I spend another forty dollars to get that premium side on the right here, let me sort this. If I spend forty bucks right here, then I'll get it. There it is. That was one. That was two. Three. Let's go ahead and pull that. Or let's go ahead and check it. Can I get this last 7,000 by leveling up champions? Let me see. I got an hour left, right? Let's try to do this. Let's try to get the last... Save 10 bucks. If you guys don't know this, Polarium... Watches everything. They see how many shards you guys have save, saved up. They see your energy. They, they, they know. They know people are, are stocking up on everything they're keeping track so they purposely make these events to drain us of our resources and you know what they're really good at it they're making it work because this is working i ended up spending money you know what since i'm already here i'm already spending money just need to not become a fish same i need to not become a fish myself i need to not become a fish myself I need to not become a fish myself. Definitely not gonna fish out. He's going ham first day back spending? Exactly. Look, the forge pass is worth it. So is this right here. 68. 15 minutes left, guys. Oh my god. Potions from CB? Yeah, I gotta get the potions. I got 15 minutes left, guys. Okay, so we got some brews. Let's go put some brew up. Thousand points left. Let's do it. Remember this day where I stopped being free to play. And I still struggled to finish this event. Seven minutes left. 300 points left. Five minutes left? Fucking hell, dude. This is too close. I'm on edge right now, man. Can I rank anybody up? I can't. Oh my god. Where am I at? Oh! Oh! I did it! I did it! That last run did it! Guys. Oh my god. I paid, I struggled, and I still, I still freaking could hardly do this. Oh my god, bro. This was a hard event. This was this. I, I really want to. Guys, Crystal, Radesh, Beanie, Flapjacks, Muhammad, MC, MV, Radesh. I think I said Radesh twice. Guys, I stocked up on resources. I paid. I still struggled to get this champion. I don't know what that says about Polarium. But it's saying something because this champion was really hard to get. Even as somebody who bought a bunch of packs. There he is.